Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hold him with a grain of salt about the Sid thing, because I, I think there's going to be some other uh, resources that are going to be looked at to try and clear that up first. So what do we got for money right now? 311. Materials. The flint's gonna go for pretty good. We should actually be able to sell a bunch of this stuff. To make up some uh, cash here, so. There's one other thing I want to try first before we do anything else. And it's further up here. That's Goron City. That's the Bedrock Bistro, so... Pretty sure that's an underground cave. If it is, we'll just move ourselves out of it real quick here. What I'm looking to do is there's a guy at the at the uh, Goron cave that will... Basically, we can give him our flints and then he can maybe get us some rare gems. Oh no, we're good. This is what I'm looking for. Daval. Oh. <laughs> Are you somewhere else, thankfully? They also serve steaks suitable for non-Gorons. Yeah. 58 rupees. 58 rupees for that? Nah. Alright, let's visit Golmo here. This is the guy I was talking about. It's a shame, but it looks like Marble Rock Roast isn't on the menu anymore. I took a detour from my travels, came all this way, but there's nothing to be done about it now. I'm Golmo. I travel the world sampling every rock under the sun. I suppose that's why Gormo uh, knows Gormo the Goromand. What's that? Do you have any flint to spare? Inside the flint are rare and especially delectable ripened flint. Ooh. If you have any ripened flint you find, I pay a uh, thousand rupees per piece. Root ripened flint looks like normal flint, but won't know until you try eating it. Let's go with a healthy 50. The polite way to enjoy it is to roll it silently beneath your tongue, allowing it to dissolve. Hmm. Oh me, oh my. What do we have here? It's ripened flint! Sharp edges that bite at the tongue. The gravely mouthfeel, the particulate that sticks between the teeth. There can be no doubt this is indeed authentic ripe... Thank you. Here's our thousand rupees as promised. I look forward to a stupendous relationship with you. So you can just keep doing this right now, right? So I do have another 50.
Give him another 50. We'll see if we get there. It's only normal flint. Do I have any more to do this? I need 20 or more. So basically I got all that for a thousand bucks. I still a thousand bucks to a thousand bucks. Just means we have to work on some more now, so. Okay, I can take that pin away. We got this we got the shield we wanted. The Hylian shield is ours. Okay, so the next towel. The next uh, talus I want is right around here. It's all about supply and demand, exactly. So we're gonna pop out of here. We're gonna go, we're gonna go beat up a rock. And this one here, we shouldn't have to cheese out the way that we did uh, the other ones. There is a more conventional way to do it to save your weapons a little bit, or sh save your, save your equipment a little bit. But first, now that we're not in the depths, let's get ourselves back into more human clothes. Get that rock. Well, that's the thing. We have to get... There we go. We're better now. I only do the muddle bud thing just to confuse them and just to basically screw with these guys. Where's my ice choo choos? There we are. I wish I could have kept them alive. I need those horns as well, so. Oh, well, that happens. <laughs> Sun shroom and a chill shroom. Okay, so we're here. We got this. Like I said, as we get to the top here, there should be a stone talus up here.
Oh wait. I know this thing. I don't think this will work, but... Oh wait, it's not an apple. Nope, not yet. All right, here we go. See those two clumps of ore? Damn it, wrong. So what I'm supposed to do here... It's pretty sick that you could go right through the guy's body to get to him. That's fine, we're almost done here. to do this but that's okay Look at all these gems we're getting here. Ruby, topaz, amber. Sapphires. And now we got a stone golem heart, which we can attach to one of our weapons. That'll work. Actually, let's put it on a spear. <laughs> Up to 50 now for the charge on that. Like you can see these ones that aren't glowing, they just give you regular stuff. While the one on the talus was actually glowing red. 
or glowing yellow, sorry, so... Like, these are just regular glowing, right? So they're just gonna give you regular stuff. And literally, you can come every Blood Moon and come back and get these guys all the time. Yeah, with all this extra here, let's go to a stable. Let's find Beetle. Once we find Beetle, we can sell off a lot of our gems. And then for, well, really what I should do is go to a fairy first, see what we're going to get filled up first, and then go see Beetle and sell it off, and then we'll have money for that. But I've been watching a lot of videos trying to learn the best ways to grind right now. The best way to grind, realistically... Alright. Don't get stupid here. And weapon-wise... Just don't have a weapon on right now. Where's that fairy again? Oh, I see a shrine up there, too. We could actually go tackle that right away. Oh, that's right. This is the one that's at the top of the hill. See, you could go to any one of them and they'll do the same things for you now. Not like last time, where you could only go to certain ones that would provide certain things for you. They just have four different fairies for you. So I have some Chloe one of hand tents. Yeah, absolutely. So the big one I want to enhance. Well, they could do. Oh, that's right, because I got two frogs. I only got. All right, I need to get three frogs to get this fully upgraded. What do I need for my barbarian art? Thought I had some Lionel's stuff. Yeah, for the fierce DD armor, we need to get the scales, so we're not going to be able to do that. Oh yeah, I guess we could use we could upgrade these with star fragments. That don't mean much, but so basically we could get one frock. Mm. No, actually I'm gonna do the pants. Mm. Mm. Cause I find it's more utility if you do the pants, because we have so many different shirts for everything. politely a waste of time. Huh? 
let's uh let's heal up here 20 bucks is 20 bucks Oh, good. More of it. More rewards. The pulling points. Ah. Let's just get a regular one because the Melania will be too much. I'll just pay 20 bucks. Oh, that's the other thing I got. I got another... Uh, I got another booble gem the last time I was around. I think I might have enough to go get uh, the white Lionel uh, stuff that I need for the barbarian armor. That's what I remember now. Oh, goody! We can go back and get everything now, because... It used to be I used to dread the fact that they had this blood moon come out. Now I'm looking forward to it. Because every time there's a blood moon... All the enemies respawn, including the taluses that we just dealt with. But yeah, we're going to have to go get a Lionel. We're going to have to go do that. Ah. Ah. See the Zonai ruins of the Dig Dog Bridge? Let's see. Let's see what the extra part is here. Hi. What is our reward today? Ah. Main restyling service. Oh my. Ah. The other thing I wanted to check out, what is the deal about, what mission do we have here? That is true. Most of you're the real deal. I've been hearing some interesting chirps and warbles. Ah, ah you're the reporter. I just had a bit of a strange experience, that's all. Debris near this three-way intersection up ahead when a woman came up to me. Please, please, you have to help her. Her life is in danger. It would only make it worse to reveal who she is. But please, you must save her. That is what she said to me. Revealing to strangers so dangerous could be some of great importance. As if her life's already in danger. Well, combining these facts makes me wonder if it isn't actually a particularly important woman that's gone missing. Fake Zelda! I can't be sure, of course, but there's a slight chance. There's only one way for us to know for sure, though. We'll have to peck away at this and see what the truth is. Mm. Now I'm thinking about the whole thing again. Why was that woman trying so, staring so hard at my hair? How strange. Let's talk to Beetle. Yeah. Not sure. Hey, sure you do a lot of travel. You're a real deal. Okay. Ah. What have you got? That's what I really need right now. <laughs> so he'll take Luminous Stone for a fee. For 20 bucks each the star fragments i am keeping it depends on what's okay so oh never mind i can scroll up scrolling would be important says in ladies so let's give him we might need some so let's give him twice Twenty-five. 
We'll just make sure we have lots of rupees in case there. Give him ten of these luminous stones. Yay. Everything else, I think. What could I give him out of these meals here? Thirteen, fifteen. These aren't worth anything. And we could sell our armor, actually, if we want to get extra. But I'm not selling it just because, you know, we don't need to at this point. <laughs> All right, so while we're here, if we could get a little bit more of the... Uh, Let's get a weapon on us, too, by the way. I see what's going on here. Let's clean this up here. He's a big boy. He'll be up in a little bit. Uh, I got a feeling. Just throwing it out here. Please, you must. Are you okay? But but blonde hair. I don't know who you are, but I ask that you help me. My poor regal friend's life is in danger. I cannot reveal who she is, for that will make things worse. She's hiding and unable to move. My friend is in such danger. Pl mm. uh -huh. She go where my friend is, but be careful not to be seen. We do not want to draw evil evil to her. So what do we got to do here? Oh, so basically we have to go around without getting caught. Well, these are just travelers. Since there's a side here to investigate, yes, yeah, so we're about to let in. Oh. But it's blocked by a high cliff. The portacollis might have been intended. The edges is crumbled, but no getting in anymore. Ah.
So we have to go by here without being seen. Or else I would have just cleaned his clock. Watch this be a Sheikah person right at the end of the ridge. It's a trap. But yeah, thank you to everybody who stopped by here today. I uh, appreciate it. We're uh, basically I'm just doing some minor tasks here. We're going to try and get a couple more shrines. Just going to try to load everything up, uh, get us ready. Thursday, we're going after Ganondorf. No if, if ands, or buts. Uh. It's overtaken by concern, my friend. She's resting safely out of sight. It's the only way to stay safe. I'm sorry that your path is so poor. Really? She's gonna make us go run around and then... What in the world is this? Oh god. Had to catch it before I hit the ground. Yeah. Stupid Korok. Ugh. <laughs> okay, so this is the way we're going to get up here to get over to... Deal with her and her craziness here. I bet you we're gonna have a fight with a whole bunch of, uh, yeah, Coliseum ruins. Bet you we're gonna have a whole bunch of fights with a uh, bunch of Sheikah up here. Hell is up there.
Must be him then. I'm so rude. You have my apologies. Tell my friend. My my friend is awaiting. Ah. Oh no, that's a Sheikah trap. <laughs> it's a bit far off, but I know you'll be able to make it. Does she legit think we're this stupid? Well, you know, sometimes the best way to hit a trap is to spring it. And we'll just freeze the hell out of all of Oh no, I want a spear. That's why I went with this one. Stab, stab, exactly. Ah. It's important for me to test you. Blonde hair, courage to overcome any challenge, any other. Here we go. It's just, and your disgusting waiver and commitment to do good. Swordsman Link, correct? Here we go. I can take my last stop at our little journey. <laughs> your grave. Exactly. And that took all of four seconds. I'll let you off this time, but don't expect such mercy next time. Prepare yourself. Right. <sighs> hey, partner. Well? This is where the investigation took you. It looks like you really got yourself on a limb there. Been scouting for the skies, trying to get to the bottom of the story. I heard this woman about luring people away. I th heard her voice, so I swooped down. And hey, here you are. So tell me, what have you unearthed? <laughs> it's another stupid Sheikah scam. Or Yiga scam. If I didn't know there, a group of assassins tried to bring down the Kingdom of Hyrule. Heard they were disgusting themselves, but... Playing the part of a villager? I never would have guessed. It all flush out a swordsman to protect the princess. Ah. A young and upcoming reporter who just happens to have blonde hair. They believed you were actually a swordsman? That's bad luck for you. Definitely got some skills, kid, though. If you could escape the Yiga clan, I'm proud of you, partner. Glad I don't have to write the headline. Judy reporter falls to cruel blade of the Yiga in pursuit of truth. Mm. We've worked together and I chase six of stories. Mm. Getting the bottom mystery will note. Doubt improve your reputation, Tracy. We'll be happy to hear about your efforts. Go on and add this to your nest egg. Another hundred bucks. Time I took down the usual details of the article. You take care, partner. Ah. Sore log. Cheesier than hell. All right, so we got that side story done real quick. Now, if I do remember, there was a sh there was a shrine somewhere around here. Should have marked it when I was hanging around. I know there's a shrine there. We already dealt with that one. There's probably one in the ruins somewhere. So we might as well head over to the ruins and see if there's... My Sheikah sensor is up, it's just... Let's take a quick look here compared to... No, nothing. 
As for that one, we do have that one already. There we got that one. Oh, there's one. Oh, we got the shrine, but we don't have the light root. Okay. I'd like the opportunity to check inside the ruins anyway, just to be safe. I think this was that tunnel that we saw earlier. Unless there's a chasm in there that we didn't see. Oh! Hi, Mr. Gliok. Uh, I'm... With all due respect, Mr. Gleok, I'd love to take you on, but... No. <laughs> uh, I think that's the politest way of putting it. No. Alright, let's see here. Sorry to disappoint you guys, but I'm not dealing with that. Uh... Just because, yeah, no. Been hearing rumors seeing the Princess Mountain Beast and Brutal Tusks. Coming from Ocean, but more of subtropical. Alright, so if that's the one. From the new Serene Stable. Let's go, uh, let's go for a walk. Let's get some of these done. Maybe we'll get the uh, rubber extra climbing gear a little better here. Or the wetsuit. Oh yeah, it's the wetsuit for the wet for the wet weather. Always good to pick up some herbs. Listen to the nice. Ah. Just wanted to make sure. Hmm. Huge brutal tusks. We might have a situation here if the prince S is really controlling it well. We need to. Subtropical region to the south. Which means we gotta go the other way and head south. There's probably a Hinox around here, that's all it is. I just want to go check up on the top of this ridge here and see maybe we can find it. Just because I'm a jerk, I like to roof rocks. Oh, wait. I know what this subtropical beast is. He's right in here. It's a nice boulder. Hey, you know what? It works. So I said we were going to go challenge it. So let's go challenge it. Time to go take on a Lionel.
should be over here. Memory serves me correct. I love how the spirits walk right behind these guys and they don't do a thing. <laughs> Got me a nice spotted horse. I think that Lionel was just over here somewhere. Easy girl. Gotta treat your horse nice, give her nice little pats. Okay, now we gotta find this Lionel out here. Well, I remember this little spot. All right, I think we got everything we can here. I don't want to use a three shot bile, I want to use a cheap one. There we go. Dad bot, no. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, Pretzel Rocks just decided it didn't want to work right. So yeah, there is a Lionel around here. I just gotta remember where he is. The reason I know about that is because I beat him once already. Calm down, calm down, horsey. Oh, 
We'll, we'll find this Lionel here somewhere. It's all that's always a fun part. Just the gallivanting, the looking around. Oh, there we go. You did your part, bud. I don't want you to. So realistically, if I do this right, and the other thing I have to do here before I get stupid. The other thing I need to do, and I'm doing it this way, chat, because if I don't do it this way, there is a potential that he could come after me. And I just don't feel like there, there's no reason that he really needs to. He does. He's not going to attack until I actually. Uh, and we're going to put full garb on here. Almost had us naked. He won't attack us until we actually pull a weapon up. See what I mean? Oh, that's right, I got a double iron shield here. I gotta be careful if you jump. One more hit, one more hit, and that shield's done. Whoops. Thought I could jump on his back with that.
I'm getting a little sick and tired of this weapon. Let's use a sword. Two-handed, 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 two-handed. Hey, I got a hockey record. I took my skate off and tried to stab somebody. I'm the only guy who ever did that. Thank you for that, Snow Peg, which scared the living crap out of me, which is always great. <laughs> Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Oh, I did the double slab. Oh, there he is. Whoops. Oh, I gotta do the flurry rush, that's why. There we go. We got a whole bunch of stuff out of him. Okay, so the vinyl bowl is even with what we have. So we have a 10 and three, so I want to get rid of one of these. Oh, we'll get rid of the spike boco, of course. And now we just go back to the stable and let them know what we found. The other good thing about beating this guy, I want to make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Cell subtropical, yeah, that's exactly where we were, so. You know what, let's just warp over there and f talk to him. I don't feel like dragging myself over here like this. So we, I defeated my first line on stream and it was a little bit harder than, this one, to, this one ended up being a lot harder than the first one. Like, the first one I did was actually a lot easier than this. Actually, it was in the same spot, too, so... Hmm. Ah. It wasn't a Lionel? Oh no, it was a Hinox, that's what it is. So now we're going in search of a Hinox. We just defeated a Lionel just for shits and giggles today. Yeah, we're heading to the south here. Yeah, let's let's follow this down. We're probably gonna find another. Uh, we're either gonna find another Lionel or we're gonna find another. Uh, we'll find the Hinox we're looking for. I hate whiz robes. I really do. Most whiz robes can bend over and cough for all I care.
So we are taking the road to the south here, so hopefully... This leads to what we're looking for. I'd laugh if it was a different Lionel. Said subtropical area to the south, so I guess we're heading left at the exit here. Oh, here we are. Is that said Lionel? Or no, that see a Hinox? Oh god. feels all right ever mean Don't steal my my horns. So I got a feeling we got a whole bunch of Evermean trees over here, which is fine. We'll deal with it, but. Figure if we're heading south to a subtropical region, we might as well go hit this uh, shrine up, right? Oh, and this is where we were earlier. Oh, all these circles everywhere. I remember this from the last game. This was a archery test for us. Jetto Bridge, nothing break it on it. See if they found something for us over here. Huh. Little horse stop here. Oh, now you want to tell me I have a shrine of light around. Way to be observant there, you yuts. Give me a nothing weapon. Give me a nothing. <laughs> traveler's bow. That's the first time I got a traveler's bow. That really sounds weird to me, but. Oh God, where do you need to go? Yeah. 
You gotta go up there too? Uh, what do I do here? I leave him right now. I'll deal with it later. You know, you got gear for everything, so I guess I should use it, right? I'd probably just build a rocket to get him up here. Holy crap, look at this place. Oh god, really? Go away. Do I want to get... Do I want to get a duplex bow? Actually, that's not bad. I'll take a multi-shot bow every time. Because the multi-shot bows only count for one for every arrow you throw. I haven't seen this place before. All right, clean this up. I'm totally aware that it's above me here. <laughs> Two in one shot! Somebody could clip that, please, chat. It would be greatly appreciated. Two locks in one shot. I love this multi bow. Oh, that was that was a little bit all right. Oh, it's just you guys. So many apples here. I'm gonna have to go through here and collect them all. Now I know there's ways you could spam around this and cheat. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. You don't get shots like that every day. I, I know that it's, for some people it will be considered small and rudimentary. I'm just trying to load up to get ready for, uh... Alright, let's go check out this... <sighs> These 
stupid ever means. Bladed Rhino Beetle. Okay, we'll take some... I had to know there was going to be some of these guys. So, apparently the story behind this... Is, uh... Sano Pan Shrine. Okay, let's get over there one sec here. Apparently the story behind this is... The, uh, the Evermeans are actually hidden Sheikah. Disguised as trees for some weird reason. So, I, I don't know how that works, but... Ah, uh, so what do you got for me here today? I haven't done a shrine in a while, chat, so... Missing pathways. So we're gonna have to build a path somewhere here. Alright. Okay, so this is how we get up here. That's it. <laughs> Let's wait. I gotta go to the other side here. There's gotta be some no re- Ah, here we are. This is a smart way of doing this. All that for five arrows, that'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that down for right now. Oh, shit. I don't need to put it down. <laughs> Chat, I think this is known as the officially easiest shrine that we've done in this game. Never mind. Number two. Oh no, never mind. This is actually not bad, too. Hmm. 
Nope, oh, gotta move it a little bit. Spoke too soon? Not really. Not really. It's a three step problem, not a two step problem. A cake. Like I said, it just you know, one extra step that might actually get me my fourth uh, fourth ability here. So we might actually be able to upgrade. Once again, thank you everybody for hanging out here. Snow Penguin, I know you've been hanging around here for most of the chat here. My teleprompter decided just didn't feel like working. So yeah, forgive me if I'm not seeing right away here I think we're gonna make a little change here there we go that might do it just had to reset it I think Nah, uh, computer's been acting a little funny lately after yesterday's uh, stream. There we go, we're up to four. And most importantly, all our hearts are filled. So it's better than having to go back and take a rest somewhere, right? And the other part is it helps us un update exactly where the uh, shrines or the, the light roots are underneath. Even though this is probably a light route we already got. But this is something we've seen before, so. But they said uh, a thing to the south here. Could it be this here? A subtropical region to the south. Zelda riding a mountainous beast with brutal tusks. So that'll be a Hinox. Oh, that's a Mulduga. What am I talking about? So yeah, we'd be going deep in the Gerudo for that one. And that's what the snow... Uh, uh, snow, uh, yeah. Just trying to see if there's any shrines for where we can see here now, chat. Because as we're looking through the map here, is that one I got? Nope, that's one I didn't get. That's one I was headed towards. When I was cruising the depth somewhere in between here, because I was cruising this way. That might have been one of the that might have been the one I saw from over here. But yeah, just looking over everything. I love how it just doesn't, uh... Okay, so this is where we can continue keep going here if we want. Let's do a little bit more exploring, see if we can find another shrine or three or four. Thanks, Sidon. I really needed a bre breath of fresh water. What in the world? That's a lot.
I'm going to probably pop around that right now. Well, there's that structure we were looking at on the screen there. Oh, the horse. Okay, I remember this place. This is the horse fountain. Sanded Park Ruins. That's exactly the fancy name for it. We used to be able to look up here and just see where all the, uh, you could hook up your horse here and take in the exquisite view. And I see we got a stable over there. Did we already go to that one? Yep, yeah, that one's on the other side of the river. Good old Zelda. Twisted and turning her way around the sky. You know what? Maybe we'll go say hi. And the reason I say we go say hi is we go, pick, go farm a few more scales. Because if we could do that, then we get a little bit extra. Zelda's scales have a neat little effect on your equipment. If you uh, fuse up. Where'd she go? She left us. Walker! How the heck are you doing? Welcome to the Players Club again. What is that? 24 months, two freaking years? How are you doing today, sir? Hope all is going well. We got a little bonus Monday stream going on here because, well, I'm on holidays this week, so. I just saw Zelda and then she just disappeared on me. We we're gonna go farm some scales, but then she just decided to, to make tail. Got the final of my prep done, E4 all rolling tonight. I don't know where she disappeared. Well, whatever. Let's, uh. While we're here, we might as well, uh. Make ourselves use fell. Basically, this is our final. Uh, let's put everything together. Let's get as much as we can. Thursday, we're going after Ganondork. Because, well, frankly, I've had enough of this game, to be perfectly honest with you. We'll glue this all together in a moment. Dan, 
Damn you, fairy. Come back. I needed you. Just try to grab all the Sunday lions and all the extras we can here. But yeah, we just uh, took out another shrine, which I swear to God was the easiest shrine in the game. Let's uh, get a steer stick out. And so I think one more fan will... Let's grab one more fan. And then now we got this funky auto build thing going on. I didn't want to do the one with the light on it, so... And then what we'll do to add on to this... get some power out of this so I'm up to eight batteries now so this could be fun I'm assuming that's a construct over there. Ah, dang it. Oh, we've already done this one. sure we completed this one already so or what would it even let me in if I could could complete it Oh, there it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I beat this one already.
And then, yeah, from here you go... Oh no, you go through here, never mind. I'm an idiot. Oh, this is right. That's right. This is the one where I had to fight with three different. Yeah, because I took the light. Yeah, that, I remember this one now. Yeah, no, we're we're done here, so we'll just we already did this one. Yeah. I I can run through it again, but it's not gonna give us anything, so I wish it would have just moved off of it and just looked at the uh, color of it. Oh quit your sniveling. But yeah, just, uh, like I said, we're just here getting our final preps done here today. I'm on holidays. Works tried to call me once already today. And they're like, you're not coming in, are you? No, I'm not. They want me to come in and do some... I'm basically getting a new vehicle for work. Because my co-worker refuses to work on a... Like, right now we have roof racks on our trucks. That we actually go up on top of, uh... It's under... It's just barely under six feet, so we're okay, but... Legally. Oh. While we're here, when in Rome... Before that disappears, because my guys are idiots. Load this up. Oh, we haven't gotten a bottle sled yet. We got, we've been able to see him, but we haven't been able to get a bottle of him. All right. Okay, so that's where we came from. Is there any particular place we want to go? That one we've already taken care of as well, I do believe. Yep, that's the south south one. We've already done that one. We've seen that one. I don't think we've dealt with anything on there yet, so...
There might be a Sage of Wills there that I want to want to grab. Yeah, I see stuff down here, so... This is the part I didn't go after last time. Construct fours. Let's freeze them. Um, well actually, let's stab them. It really isn't fair four on one like this. I more so want to do this for the horn. And all the extra stuff. Oh, so this is the one I got to use the shield on. So basically what I'm doing here is looking for what's called a sage's will. Which is essentially an upgrade from, uh... There we go. And what do we have here? An old map. Also, oh, this basically shows you where the old. So apparently there's a mine right where the, the X's are. So that isn't what we're looking for here. What essentially we're supposed to be able to do Oops. We're supposed to be able to shine a sensor up into that. We have to wait till the sun comes up to do it. So essentially we could wait here a couple minutes while... We could cheese this out a little bit here in just a moment. So yeah, we have that there just as a safety thing. And what we're supposed to be able to do is uh, put a put a lamp up and shine there, right? 
So what we can actually do here if I... Do we want to sleep now? Nah, we'll just we'll just hang out. It's almost it's almost light time. Um. Ah. Can't remember if it's light time or it's noon. We have to do this at, but uh, essentially we just shine a light in there and that door will open. But we are gonna need a mirror. Damn it, we gotta go get a mirror. Oh, that was close. I was dumb. I was dumb. That's okay. Uh, I'm supposed to shine a light in there at a certain time of day here. How to do this? What am I thinking? Oh no, I can't take it off my. I was thinking I could just take it off my person, but. They usually give you everything you need here, but... Makes me wonder what the heck I'm supposed to do here at this point. Because you gotta flop the light into here during the day while the sun's out. But you have to be able to get a mirror down here. That's the thing. Because eventually what you're supposed to do is put a... I know the last part. I just don't know the first part on this. I don't want to sit here and just contemplate life and times here for the next six hours. Oh, that's the labyrinth there. Okay. You know what? Let's, uh...
I think at this point, to be honest, chat, I think we're almost ready to go. I've been playing around with this a lot, but I'd like to get that Sage of Wills, but... Oh, you know what? Actually, before we go here, we'll go check the ferry out. We'll load up. I, th I think we're going to call it a day here right away here. Just, uh... Sort of make a mistake about going here. Let's, uh... go visit the ferry here and then we'll uh, see if we get upgrade anything now that we got the Lionel uh, pieces from beating that one Lionel and then uh, from there we can uh, and then from there we can upgrade our hearts to the next one and then we will uh, call our day This is just my easiest shrine to get to for the fairies. A couple wax of Tulin and we're uh, heading in there. See, like, the, the regular armor that I have is going to be good enough, but I really want to... Uh... I wanted to see if I can get the uh, the barbarian armor upgraded here. That's the that's the key thing for me here. Really? I need two Lionels. That's why. Well. See, is there anything here I could do with money? I'm just going to quickly look through this so I can, uh... Because, yeah, I just need more frox fangs here, and then... An obsidian frox fang. Nah, okay. Oh, and this we could upgrade if we just get more large zonite. There isn't much left to upgrade, so we're... I also feel... Yeah, light dragon scale, thanks. Ugh. Yeah, these are gonna... We could upgrade these eventually here, but... The only other thing I could look for... And I'll, I'll probably do this later on, is I'll go pick up... Uh, I, I do think I have enough to pick up the uh, white main uh, Lionel stuff from uh, Kitash, I believe it is. The uh, the guy who's looking for the booble gems. So what I'll do off stream here, just to, just because I don't want to bore everybody here. I'm probably going to create a bunch of uh, Sunday line meals. And I'm also going to do a lot of clump meals. Because when we get back here, I'm also going to do a lot of fusing while I'm here as well. We're going to, uh... I'll let you guys see me up. I'm actually going to upgrade the stamina this time just because... I want to make sure I can run like hell when it comes to uh, getting away from a lot of this stuff. It's one thing a lot of the experts that play this game and they like this has been out for a year or so a lot of them have said don't ignore your stamina 
it's easy to ignore it, but just don't. So we're up to two and two fifths now. So for me, that's not the worst thing in the world. But yeah, I think that's. You know what? Let's uh, let's go sleep. Let's go. Let's go upgrade. Let's go see if we can get the uh, booble gem upgrade. Because I like to show everything for you guys as we go here. I know we usually just wrap up here at this point, but I don't want to disappoint you guys by missing anything. Terrytown. There we are. So let's go run over here and... Uh... So now we run around the back here. We visit our friend Colton. That extra little bit of stamina actually helps quite a bit. Gobs of bubble gems. I don't know about gobs. Alright. Colton seriously thinks he's going to become. Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. So I wonder if that's one or if that's five. Oh God. Four for the Horoblin mask. Yeah, you're a little psychotic. So that, there isn't much left to get from his, I think it's that and the, uh, and the rupee mask, which actually now that we have, now that we have a ton of rupees, that might actually be a good thing here. So let's put down a save here.